Hello everyone, in today's lesson we're going to be talking about writing the equations of lines, more specifically parallel and perpendicular lines. Before we do that though, let's just make sure you can write the equation for regular lines without adding in the parallel and perpendicular part. Please in your journal, write the equation of the line. So in your part you'll put um, review given You'll say given parentheses 2 comma 4 and a slope of 1 half, the equation is, really try to do y equals mx plus b, they gave you the m, 1 half x plus b, they gave you a point, and every point has an x and a y, every ordered pair is an x and a y. So let's take the y, put it for y, take the x, put it where x is, do 1 half times x plus b. 4 is equal to 1 half of 2. What's half of 2? 1. 4 is equal to 1 plus b. How much does b need to be? 3. b is equal to 3. So then the real equation for this line is y equals... 1 half x plus 3. Not so bad. Let's do it again. Given 0 comma 8, that's a point, and m is negative 6, write the equation in slope-intercept form. y equals mx plus b. Write the equation for this. Every time, just write the formula. If you write the formula, then you know, okay, I need to fill something into here. M goes for M is, plus B, and then we're gonna use this point. And if you paid attention in all the other lessons, then you will already be able to get B, but let's just put the point where it goes so that we can keep things consistent. Eight is Y, Negative 6 is multiplying 0, plus b, 6 times 0 is 0, so we have b is equal to 8, which means the actual equation is y is equal to negative 6x plus 8. It took about 30 seconds. If it took you longer than 30 seconds, or if you had no idea, please keep practicing. Write these down. If you have no idea what I'm doing, write these down and do them again later. You have to practice to get better. If all you're doing is copying my notes, but you're not actually practicing, you're not gonna get any better. You can't just download knowledge by writing things down. You have to practice what you're writing. <clears throat> Write the equation of this. Given that negative three, negative eight is on the line, and this is the slope, write that in y equals mx plus b form. That means y is equal to 1 third x plus b. Then we take these numbers, put y for y, x for x, so times negative 3 plus b. 1 third of 3, that's divide by 3, that's multiply by 3. Those are going to balance out and leave you with just the number 1, but they're still that negative. So this is negative 1 plus b equals negative 8. If you can't picture what this b is to make this true, then add the 1 to the left. You get b equals negative 7. Negative 8 plus 1 makes negative 7. That means our final equation is y equals 1 third x minus 7. Let's do a few more. What if I just give you two points? How are you going to write y equals mx plus b from two points? The second step is the same, but only the first step changes. Instead of only finding b, we also need to find m. So we'll do 10 minus 4 over 2 minus 2. 
What's two minus two? A zero. 10 minus four? Six. What does this make? A zero on the bottom? That's undefined. That means that this is gonna be a vertical line. It's gonna be straight up and down. If this line is straight up and down, and we put it on the axis, x and y, then the only number that matters is this number. And that number is an x, which means our equation is x equals that number, which is 2. So find the slope. If you're given two points, find the slope. If you get something weird, graph that something that's weird, and then see what you need to do. What does that actually mean? Let's try this one. Two points. Find the slope first. Subtract those y's, subtract those x's. One over zero. It's undefined again. So you go ahead and write down what the answer is. Is it going to be x equals one? Or is it going to be y is equal to something? Undefined means vertical. So on the x and y axis, the only number that matters is the x if it's vertical. And the x is equal to one. That's what's not changing. We'll do two more review questions. This one and one more. Write the equation of the line that goes through these two points. We need to do y equals mx plus b. To do this, we need m and we need the y-intercept. First, to find the y-intercept, we need to find b. Sorry, to find the y-intercept, we need to find m. So we'll do the y's subtracting. There's no easy way to do it, so I'll do negative 10 minus negative 6 over 3 minus 1. That makes negative 4 over 2, which is negative 2. That's the m. y equals negative 2 x plus b. It really doesn't take a whole lot of thinking if you just write everything down. It's only when you don't write things down that you have to think really hard. We found the m, so we put it for m. To find b, take an x and a y, put them for x and y. Negative 2, negative 6 is equal to negative 2, so that's the slope, times 1, plus b. Negative 2 plus b equals negative 6. Add that 2 over there, b is 4. That means y is equal to negative 2x plus 4. I wrote plus 4, but that should really be negative 2x minus 4. I'm going to give you a longer period of time. Pick any points you want. You write this one. I'll wait 15 seconds. better pause the video, finish the whole thing, okay let's do it, equals 8 fifths plus b, that's 1.6, so I'm going to subtract 1.6 from 10, I'm going to subtract this number which is 1.6 from 10, and I'm going to get 8.4 equals b, y is equal to 4 fifths x plus 8.4. Or this could be 8 and 2 fifths. 8.4 would be 8 and 2 fifths. Okay, that's the last review question I'm going to do. And now let's do parallel perpendicular.